my name is JP Self, and this is E3D's tutorial DVD for low res character scanning. In this DVD, we are going to take this character created from the low res character production DVD and scan a character studio biped to it. However, you can use any custom rig you want to because this DVD will focus only binding the rig to the actual geometry and how it would deform when those bones are animated. I will be going through and showing you how to scale up your rig so that it lines up with the mesh properly. I'll even go through and show you how to create simple geometry for bones that we'll be using for the props. So once we have our character studio all built up, we'll be using the skin modifier to assign all the bones that we created onto the character's mesh. I will go through and show you how to add and remove bones on the skin modifier. I'll even go through the settings for our display and advanced parameters that will make the scanning process visually easier, which is basically, you know, showing our envelopes, maybe showing all vertices, and then changing our bone effect limit to a lower bone count so that each vertex is only affected by a set number of bones at a time. In this DVD, we'll be using the weight tool for most of our scanning needs. It's really a quick and efficient way of selecting verts and assigning weight influence to it. I'll also go through some of the mirror parameters that Skin Modifier has, which is really great for cutting down our skin and process in half, because basically what it is just copy and paste all of our skin data from the one side of the model that we'll be scanning onto the other side. So if we need to, for any reason, save our skin out, I'll go through and show you how to use the Skin Utilities feature, which is basically another way of saving all of our skin information onto a whole new mesh. And then what we'll do is that I'll even go through and resize the character after we've fully scanned it onto a smaller version using the skin utilities, which is really a quick and efficient way and a lot more reliable than just using the scan modifiers save and load feature. So now that we've got a brief overview of what we'll be doing in this DVD, let's go ahead and get started. 